Okay, now we're going to talk about factorials again and then introduce the idea of permutation and combinations. All right, so the first activity that we're going to do is find the number of unique ways you can arrange letters in a word. So let's pretend for a minute that we don't care if it actually forms a word. We're just, we use words that are actually words, but if you just look at the letters in a word, um, how many different ways can you arrange that? So let's look at the word problem. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and none of those repeat. So if there are no repeating letters, then that could just be a standard factorial. And remember what a factorial is? So if there are seven letters, right, in the first spot, you could write P or R, there would be seven letters. But once you choose one of the letters, then there are only six letters remain. Then there's only five, then there's only four, then there's only three, then there's only two, then there's only one. That's what a factorial is. On your calculator, a factorial looks like this. And if you type this into, so we use a 30 Roman numeral, a 30XS Roman numeral 2, I think something like that. So there's a PRB button. So you would hit the PRB button and that would give you three choices. A P and this is in an R, then a C in an R, then an exclamation. You would, in your calculator, you would type seven, then you would hit the PRB button, arrow over to exclamation point, hit enter, then hit enter again, and the result you would see would be 5,000, I think it's, let me type that back in, I believe it is 5,040. Or on your calculator, if you type seven times six times five, or by hand, times five times four times three times two times one, you get 5,040. Now let's look at, well, look at what you have. This is going to be a special type of factorial because look at the E repeats three times. All right, so this is a process. There's a total of Six letters, one, two, three, four, five, six. However, three of them repeat. So I believe this is the process. It's you're going to divide it by the number of times the E repeats, then it's going to be six the total, subtract. So we're going to have 6 factorial over 3 factorial, 3 factorial. So let's see if this works out. So 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4. Oh, look it, times 3 factorial. Um... And then down below... We have, so I think I probably set this up incorrectly. I think that's just going to be over the repeating three factorial. Well, look at what happens here. Those two just canceled. Another way to write it would be six. Six factorial, six times five times four times three times two times one. Divide that by three. 3 factorials, 3 times 2 times 1. Well, those cancel. 6 times 5 is 30. 30 times 4 is 120. There are 120 different ways that we can arrange those six letters. Now, they aren't all going to spell a word, but there's 2,100 unique ways that we can do that. Now, let's look at ebulliently. Let's see. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's going to be 11 factorial over, ooh, E is twice. So that's going to be a 2 factorial. 
What else do we have? We have, ooh, L is three times. So that's going to be a three factorial. Do we have anything else? We have B once, U once, I once, N once. All right. So I'm going to write this out as 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 4 times 3. Ooh. And then I'm going to say times 2 factorial times 3 factorial. But look at, I stopped there because look at, we can cancel those out. And then let's see, 2 factorial, we can rewrite 2 factorial as 2 times 1. I'm going to take that first even number and I'm going to divide that since 2 times 1 is 2. 6 divide 2, there leaves a 3. So now you're going to write, oops, type 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 3 times 5 to get your answer or you could actually just type that into your calculator. 11, hit the PRB button, arrow over to exclamation point, then hit the divide button. 2, find your exclamation point. 3, find the exclamation point. Then go ahead and hit enter, enter. And I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to do that with you. I'm going to do... 11 exclamation point, divide, and maybe it, it shouldn't be safest, but let's put this part in parentheses. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So divide parentheses 2 factorial times 3 factorial, close parentheses. Ah, and we get 3,300,000. Four hundred unique ways to arrange those eleven letters with two of them repeating once two times and once three times, three million different ways. Now let's look at righteously. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. None of them repeat. So that is just eleven factorial. So 11 factorial, look at this. I'm going to write this all down here. 39,916,800. So all of those different ways does not mean that they spell out a word. It may only, all those letters may only spell one word, which is righteously. However, if you're not, if you don't care that it spells a word, there are almost 40 million ways that we can arrange 11 letters. That's pretty remarkable. All right, the next one will be about permutations and combinations.